Hey guys and welcome to Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Um, if you're new to my channel, then you're so welcome. I'm uh, Karin and I'm from from Sweden and I am a student here at London College of Fashion. I live in one of their uh, halls or accommodation, which is called the costume store. So I thought I'd show you my room in this video, so that if you're applying to London College of Fashion or if you're applying to the costume store, I thought I could show you. Um, what my room looks like and I would also just like to give you some of my tips and recommendations of what you should bring to your room and what you should maybe buy and so on so yeah let's get straight into it and also I live in a standard room you can also live in a studio apartment then you have your own kitchen I chose the standard room because it's cheaper and then I uh, share a kitchen with my flatmates I have a room but with my own bathroom I think all of the rooms here have a bathroom in it I'm pretty sure that uh, you don't share a bathroom with anyone, so that's very good. So here's the entrance. On the right side here, I have um, two hangers, which is good, because then you can um, hang your jackets there, your bags and everything, like the outdoor um, clothing. Then I just have my shoes here. If you're gonna live here for a long time, you might want to get like a shoe shelf. I'm only here for a couple of months, so... I'll just leave my shoes like this. Then here's the room. It's very cozy. It's very like modern and fresh, I would say. Because I know that the standard in, <laughs> no offense to UK, but I know that the standard here is not always this good. I was very happy with the, like the drawer here. It's all white. The, the desk here, the shelf, the bed is all white. Very nice and clean. And then I have this kind of, not sure what this is called, it's like a, I guess a board where you can pin things, uh, like I did there. Then I have a mirror here, it was already here when I moved in. Yeah, I just love this mirror, it's a good like full body mirror so you can see your outfits when you're heading out. It's also good because it makes the room seem a bit bigger than it is. The bathroom is on the left side. It's kind of big. I was impressed when I first got here because uh, I thought it would be like a small, just a small toilet, I guess. I have the sink here, then a small shelf, and I'm not sure what you call this, like the towel hanger, I guess, and one here as well. And then it's kind of a big shower, I would say. And it's also, everything is like all white, except for this one, it's purple. But it's very fresh and clean, and there are some spotlights in the ceiling, which I love. And, uh, yeah, you just open it like this. I have a lot of products already, but, yeah, the only bad thing is that it doesn't have, like, a... It only has this, like a shower head, but it doesn't have the shower head that you hold in your hand. Well, yeah, then there's this big mirror. It's huge. On the shelf here, I just put... A mirror. I bought it at H&M Home, I think. It's just nice to have like a mirror if I want to do my makeup. Then I just bought this thing. It's from Primark. It was very cheap. I think it was two pounds, three pounds maybe. Um, then just some Q-tips, nail stuff, scissors, my uh, skincare routine, I guess. I recommend this one. This is Swedish though, so. You might have to go to Sweden to get this. <laughs> and the cotton pads here. And just... What do you call this? Like a soap thing? Holder? <laughs> soap container? I'll have to practice on my English if, if I'm gonna keep making videos in English because this is so hard. Uh, this is like a toothbrush cup, I guess. I bought these at John Lewis. Well, overall very fresh. Okay, so let's continue with the room. So on my left side here I have my wardrobe which is also very fresh and clean and all white and it actually has so much space I think it's I think it's a very good wardrobe because you can fit all of your stuff in here I bought this one, it's like a basket box thing I have some of my workout clothes in there just to use all the space on this shelf and here I have 
my hats, if that's what you call them, my, uh, like my track suit, I guess, my cozy wear, loungewear, and then here I just have some more loungewear, some shirts, some sweaters here, and then some jeans and some underwear, don't have to see that, some of my shoes, and on this side, I have I had to buy hangers, so that's a big tip. If you're moving into a dorm, you should probably get some hangers. And also it's a very good tip to buy the thin ones. The thinnest ones you can find just because then you can fit more clothes. So I just hang all of my jackets here, some of my like blouses, some sweaters, cardigans. And also I bought the laundry basket thing. I think I bought it at Primark for like four pounds. And it's a pop-up one, so I think it was good because then I used the space that's under my clothes. Mm, and it's also good to have a laundry bag. Like, those are the things that you don't think about when you're moving into a college dorm room, that you need all of this stuff. But, yeah, and then I just have my laundry stuff here. And then, if I continue on with my bed, I just, you know, you had to bring your own like duvet covers and pillow covers and stuff so I just have like a beige white color on this one to keep it more natural I guess and then I bought a blanket at Primark just a white fluffy one it's good to have a blanket though because you use your bed as a couch a lot of times so then you want a blanket if you're cold instead of like crawling into your duvet I guess yeah so it's a good thing to have a blanket I would say and then I bought some cushions as well this is not necessary this is just because I wanted to uh, have a more cozy room I guess to have a more homey feeling and I bought a purple one a white one and a pinkish one just so that it goes well with the purple wall thing here then here next to the bed I have a nightstand so I have a drawer here and a cupboard I think you say this is my this is my best spot in the whole room. This is where I keep all of my goodies. So I have some cola here. I have some like sponsor things I got from the school. Just the water. <laughs> this one. Mom, if you're watching this, don't mind that one. And then I have some Swedish candy. If you know me, you know that I love the salty Ferrari ones. And then just have some sour ones as well oh and also don't forget the poly ones i don't really want to open my drawer but i'll do it anyway so <laughs> this is a mess just keep my notebooks here like hairbrush as you can see some chargers just some random stuff oh i want to show you this one <laughs> some asthma medication um this is the best setting powder ever uh this is charlotte tilbury this is the best one if you want like a setting powder i can recommend this and then on my nightstand i just have some of my books here i just think that's cute to stack all your books and then just add a candle on it i bought this one from primark as you can see it was also very cheap i think it was one pound we're not actually allowed to have candles here but i just bought it i'm not gonna like light it i think i'm just gonna I also have some candles here and here, but I'm just gonna keep them like that just as a part of like the interior, I guess. And it's just cozy to have candles. And this one I bought at John Lewis. I think it was a cute table lamp. I think it was 20 pounds, so it was a bit more expensive. But the thing is, if you don't have a table lamp, you're just gonna have to turn on the ceiling lamp all the time. So if you wanna go to bed, you have to go all the way over there turn off the lights and then go back and it's gonna be completely dark so it's just cozy to have a table lamp i think and i think i'm gonna maybe add some posters here just because it looks a bit empty or you can just like pin some pictures like some photos you have oh and i also want to show you my view oh my windows are so dirty okay so i'll just turn off the lamp here over here there's like a i don't know some kind of store and as you can see uh my window faces other rooms so i can see right into some people's rooms so they can see like straight into mine okay so let's move on to this part of the room so here's my desk it's very 
like it's a very wide desk which i love because it's you have a lot of space to work here i have to show you over here i have some flowers i bought them at h&m h&m home uh, and they're in different colors i think they're so cute because usually dried flowers are just like beige then i have another mirror here and then some nail polish here and then another candle and then i just put up a picture here of my friends and i from a night out oh i also have some candles here i forgot to show you and here on the left i have some of the out outlets i think they're called some more drawers here i have oh i don't even want to open these i have my hair stuff in here then here i have some plastic bags an umbrella <laughs> you need an umbrella if you're gonna live in london let me tell you that oh, i don't even know what this drawer is um we got this one from a class yesterday because we went to like an exhibition it's a pokemon thing i don't know some adapters scissors some receipts uh, british news yeah then here i have my makeup bag oh i also want to show you this one i showed you the like the setting powder from uh, charlotte tilbury so this is the foundation i use and i think this is i haven't used it for too long just a couple of weeks and it's been very good so far so i can really recommend this one oh just one other thing this one the pixie setting spray it's the best one i've tried i already have the urban decay one and I love that one, but I think this one is maybe even better. So go buy this one if you need a setting spray. Best one I've tried. Let's move on to the shelf here. So on this shelf, I just have some wine glasses, some bowls here, some plates. And uh, over here, I bought some boxes here. Not sure from where. This one is from Primark, I think. Not sure where I bought this one. But I just keep all of my products in here just because I don't have like a cupboard in uh, the bathroom. And over here, I have a second one of these drawers. So I have some of my makeup here. And then, yeah, here as well. My perfume and another candle. And on this shelf, I have... I'm not, let me take this down. So I have another box. I think they have these boxes at H&M Home. Uh, that's not where I bought it, but I don't remember the store. I just keep some school stuff. Since I go to a, like a creative school, I guess, you gotta have some uh, coloring things. You have some watercolor pencils. I have these pens, some highlighters. And then I have some bags here and also this one right on the top. Yeah, so I think that was it for this video. If you want to ask me something, feel free to DM me or comment on this video or anything. If you have any questions about like rent or neighbors or transportation or anything, just feel free to ask me and then I can also make like a Q&A video. If you have questions about like the school and uh, all of those things as well, the teachers. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.